again, it's Everard Junction and uh, this is just a quick Christmas Eve update on what I've been doing on the, the uh, last couple of days. So as you can see I've got uh, the trains running at the moment, just making sure everything works uh, for Christmas Day tomorrow when relatives are going to come over and probably want to see the layout. Uh, so far it's working pretty well. As you can see I've done a little bit of ballasting on the large corner. Uh, I've only done a little bit so far, just see how it's going and uh, it's come out quite well. All the banking is still in place and uh, it seems to have uh, not really caused any issues. And uh, I've also been doing a little bit of weathering, you know, just a bit of practicing on some of the wagons. Uh, so if we look at the, uh, the Raker wagons beyond this 31, uh, this wagon over here I've been weathering, just to sort of dull down the, uh, the orange. I think it's come out quite well. And I'll be doing roughly the same thing to the rest of the wagons in the rake as well. And you can see the ballasting just from another angle. Also done uh, a little bit more wiring on the junction and uh, put this little siding in just to uh, hold the loco. Uh, just makes it easier for me to sort of get to stuff. And, uh, yeah, just really been testing it. Really, I haven't really done too much other than uh, testing it, and making sure it all works. Because once I've ballasted it all and put all the sleepers in, there's no going back really. So it's all got to work reliably and uh, consistently. And so far I haven't had too many problems really. I thought I was going to get a few issues with uh, all the point work over here, but uh, it's not really been too much of a problem at all. It's actually been uh, fairly painless. Uh, had a few issues over there with uh, some of the gradients and stuff, but uh, now I've ironed that out as well. And I've uh, also made the curve on the branch line a little bit smoother, just because it was a little bit too tight, so just made that a little bit smoother. It's come up quite well. So I've been running the 150 a lot, it's a really nice loco, it hasn't given me any trouble. I literally just got it out of the box, put a decoder in it and sent it on its way. It's been running very nicely. I have had uh, a couple of problems with uh, getting these wagons to work properly. Um, underneath, uh, all the uh, wheels are allowed to pivot ever so slightly. Uh, I think the idea behind it was because the wagons have got well, one wheel at each end, so the idea was to let those wheels pivot so it could go around corners. Yeah, but that generally seems to cause quite a few derailments, which is why you've not really seen the wagons run too much over the last year. Um, so what I've been doing is uh, just making sure that uh, I've glued up the wheels underneath to stop them swinging about, and uh, it seems to have cured the problem. It also doesn't seem to cause any trouble on the tighter corners on the uh, layout. So I don't really understand why they did it, but there we go.
Something else I've also been doing is uh, adding some extra foam and polystyrene above the layout just to reflect the light a little better. I've put it all the way along this end now, it goes all the way down to the bottom. It generally just sort of makes things a little bit brighter. Uh, I will be adding some additional lighting sort of along this beam up here, all the way along here. Uh, just to brighten the layout out a bit more. Uh, there might be one or two lights over there, but generally it's fairly well lit over there. It's just when you come all the way over here, it's a bit of an issue. But the, uh, the polystyrene has helped. I've also uh, been getting a train of coaches ready for the, uh, the Deltic. Uh, this is basically the only thing on the layout that's uh, slightly out of period. Um, but uh, I'm just running it as a, a rail tour locomotive as if it was preserved and that is pulling uh, these maroon coaches or these blood and custard coaches over here i've got a rake of six of those uh, they're just back with mark ones uh, the same as uh, my intercity carriages and uh, various others and they're left over from the old layout but they were such nice coaches i didn't want to get rid of them when i got rid of the uh, the old layout so i kept them so now i use them as a, a rail tour rake of carriages Fiddle Yard's also been working very nicely since I built it. All the trains run through very nicely.
Right, well, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I've been doing. Mainly just been uh, testing things and uh, making sure everything works. As you can see from the high speed shots of the HST running as fast as it will go, I think the track work is pretty solid. Uh, so from this point on, I think I can start getting on with the scenery and finishing up additional wiring. So uh, I'll continue with the ballasting. And uh, the ballasting will be the main thing I do first. Um, then over the top of that, I will uh, cover it up with uh, paper, and masking tape or whatever, and then I'll start to work on some of the grasses around the edges and uh, think about some of the landscape I want in the background. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to have over in the corner yet. I've got uh, two ideas at the moment really. Uh, one is to have like a, a big hill with lots of trees on it, sort of like a little sort of forest going on or something. Uh, my other idea is to uh, make it a bit more suburban, have perhaps uh, another row of terraced houses or a little industrial estate or something, or something, something a bit more, a bit more urban. Uh, not too sure what I'll go with yet, uh, but I know that towards the end, it will uh, mainly be lots of trees and bushes and uh, be quite country sort of looking, uh, and then we'll have the uh, the motorway in the middle there. So uh, well, uh, have a good Christmas tomorrow, and uh, I hope some of you get uh, some suspiciously sort of rectangular shaped boxes uh, for your layouts. Um, I'm certainly hoping to get a few myself, and I'll post a couple of videos of uh, any new arrivals that I get on the layout uh, in a couple of days after Christmas. So uh, have a good one.